Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. My name is Richard Evans and today I have a really exciting new product to show you and that is the New Tech Spark Plus I.O. module. Now these little guys come in two different models, an SDI version which supports HD60P and the HDMI version which supports 4K60P. Now these units are designed to encode your SDI or HDMI signals into NDI but now you can also decode your NDI signals into SDI or HDMI, which is something a lot of y'all have been asking for. So, this is NewTek's first ever NDI encoder and decoder, and it's pretty awesome. All right, so let's take a look at the connections for the Spark Plus I.O. module. Now, on the back of the unit, you have your NDI port to connect it to your NDI network. You can also power these units via PoE, so you can use this same port for connection and power if you have a PoE switch. Now we also have the inputs for encoding and outputs for decoding NDI signals. Now when the Spark Plus I.O. module is in encoding mode, you can have your input inserted and then this output will act as a pass-through so you can have a low latency monitoring of your video signal. Now when the Spark Plus I.O. module is in decoding mode, the input connection will be deactivated so you can only do one mode at a time, so keep that in mind. Uh, there's also an eighth inch jack here for bringing in an external audio source and a USB power connection to power the unit in the event that you do not have a PoE switch. Now switching to the front of this unit, we also have tally lights on here as well. So if I bring up this particular source on my preview row, that tally light will show up green. And if I bring that source on my program row, then that light will turn red. So that way you know when this bad boy is in action. All right, so now let's go ahead and go through encoding of a signal first. So I have my camera on my desk here plugged into my Spark Plus I.O. module via HDMI into the inputs. So let's go ahead and configure the TriCaster to bring that in as a signal. All right, so here we are in the TriCaster Mini 4K interface, and I want to bring in my Spark Plus I.O. module into my input number one. So I'll click on this gear icon on input number one, and then under this source selection tool, click this drop down, and I will scan to find my Spark Plus I.O. module, which is right here, and boom, there we go. Now I have the output of my camera converted into NDI via the Spark Plus I.O. module. So what's cool about that is now that it's NDI, I can now distribute that signal wherever I want to on my network. But there's a few more things in here. So let's get into some nitty gritty details by opening up the administrator mode of my Spark Plus I.O. module. And when I click on the device web page, it will bring up the administrator panel for your Spark Plus I.O. module. All right, now you can see across the top some really basic settings going on. Uh, I currently have my uh, camera that I have plugged into it set to be 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames per second. Uh, and then beneath that, under the basic settings, this is where you can go to uh, add your Spark Plus I.O. module to a group, uh, or you can also uh, change the device name, determine what NDI channel you want to be on, uh, also, uh, remember earlier I mentioned that there was an 8th inch jack on the back of the uh, Spark Plus I.O. module. If I click on this, this will allow you to set, uh, or, I'm sorry, select the HDMI embedded audio uh, or th um, 3G SDI embedded audio, depending on the unit that you get, or select the mic input. I'm going to go ahead and leave that the way it is. And so those are kind of the basic encoding settings here uh, on the Spark Plus I.O. module. But here comes the fun part, and that is the decoder. So to switch it over to decode mode, we'll click up here at the top, decoder. And when I do that, it will give us a warning, just letting us, uh, just reminding us that the Spark Plus I.O. module can only do encoding or decoding at one time. So it can't be both. You got one or the other. Just keep that in mind. All right, and this is the admin panel for the Spark Plus I.O. in decode mode. So going from the top here, you'll see uh, I have my output that's going to my monitor is coming from this machine here, my stage right, Mix 3, uh, at 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames per second. Uh, I can even see the audio bit rate and the IP address if I need it as well. 
Beneath that is going to be our decoding presets. And from here, we have nine different presets to choose from, uh, from any of the NDI sources available to me. And then all I would have to do is just click between them and that will switch the output video of whatever monitor I have plugged into the Spark Plus IO device. Uh, now there's another way to uh, bring in a video source to the Spark Plus I.O. or out of the <laughs> Spark Plus I.O. Uh, is by going through on the source list. You'll see these are all the different pieces of equipment that are broadcasting over NDI that's available to me. And what's cool about that is you'll see that there's numbers next to some of these. So for example, my Mini 4K has four outputs. Uh, my tablet has two. Uh, and then if I go to my VMC1, I have 36 different ones to choose from here. So let's go through and click this drop down for my mix, uh, mix number one. And I'll bring that on screen by clicking on decode here and check this out. So when I do that, now I have the mix one of my TriCaster Mini 4K displayed on the screen here. Now if I go back over to the administrator panel, uh, I can then basically switch directly from here if I wanted to. So for example, I can go to mix number two and click on that. And then that will change the source on my monitor over here as well. But let's start to add some sources to our uh, presets that are above on the admin panel. So to do that, right next to the decode button, there is a plus button here. And if I click that, I can select which preset number I want to add it to. So I'm going to select number one. So now you see mix number one is up there. I have the, the uh, TriCaster's name uh, and the uh, IP address as well. So let's go ahead and grab the number two and add that to number two. Just make sure that you're selecting number two here or you will overwrite whatever you have in the first slot. All right, and to show you that I can select anything here, I'm going to go to my VMC1. And I'll say, I don't know, let's select mix number three. Okay, and we'll add that to three, hit okay, scroll back up. And now I can basically do switching right from this administrator panel. So check this out. We'll go back to my camera and I'll go and select the output number one again. And then I'll go to output number two. And then I'll go to my preset number three, which is coming out of my VMC system. And that's that new tech logo here. So some rudimentary switching that you can do directly on the device so you don't necessarily have to have the uh, output of the Spark Plus I.O. married to any Mix 1 or any switcher row on a TriCaster. You can do that just directly from the administrator panel, making it extremely convenient. Okay, now I've just been messing around with 1920 by 1080 signals, so I mentioned earlier that this could do 4K, so let me show you how to do that. All right, so let's go and select encoder on my admin panel here. And it'll reconfigure my Spark Plus IO module. All right, and once that configuration is successful, again, you'll see my camera that was broadcasting over 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames per second. Now I'm gonna go back over to my camera and configure the settings of this to be 4K. Now in doing so, what'll happen is my camera is gonna reboot itself. So keep an eye on my resolution and you'll see that'll go blank. Yep, there you go, no signal resolution. And once my camera boots back up, We'll see what it's broadcasting in. Boom, I am now broadcasting out of that camera at 4K, 30 frames per second. Now keep in mind, you can connect a 4K 60p signal to the Spark Plus IO module. The camera that I just happen to have here can only do 30 frames per second. But again, 4K 60p coming through on a Spark Plus IO module encoder and decoder, super awesome. So as you can see, these are very powerful and versatile pieces of equipment, greatly expanding your input and output capabilities using the power of NDI. But wait, there's more. If you purchase a TriCaster Mini 4K, that system is now going to come with two of these modules, either the SDI or HDMI version. So that way, all you have to do to connect a camera now is instead of plugging the, one of these up to your network, all you have to do is plug in the NDI uh, output from here into one of the NDI input ports and you're done. That's all you got to do. And that's pretty cool. 
Now, for more information on the Spark Plus I.O. modules, contact your local NewTek reseller or visit NewTek.com. And for more video tutorials like the one you're watching now, uh, check out our YouTube page at YouTube.com slash NewTekInc. And for even more NewTek information, check out NewTek.tv. And until then, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time on another edition of NewTek Tuesday Tutorials.